Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking on the subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Quentin Tarantino's directorial debut, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Reservoir. Reservoir. Am I saying that right, you guys? I don't think I'm saying it right. I know I can't talk, and if you knew, I can't talk. I, I'm always fucking up people's names. Anyway, you guys, so like I said, Quentin Tarantino's directorial debut. He did write and direct this movie. It came out in 1992. Of course, he also had a little part in this movie as Mr. Brown. Uh, so basically, this is a diamond heist uh, movie that has gone wrong. Um, it is a very low budget. We just start off in the diner, and it is a really interesting introduction to these characters. We don't actually get their names, because like I said, we are doing a diamond heist. It just kind of for like security purposes. Um, they all kind of have their own specific color, and in case anybody does get caught, that way no, no name droppings are going to be coming on. As much as I did really enjoy this, movie it's not my favorite uh tarantino film inglorious bastards would still be my favorite uh tarantino i i think that movie is just amazing um uh, but back to reservoir dogs you know what i'm just gonna call it rd because i'm pretty sure i'm saying it completely wrong i don't know whatever <laughs> don't judge me like i was saying earlier we do start off the movie in a diner um and we do have a very long i don't know like 10 15 minute conversation about like tipping i mean that like just really like tripped me out mr pink on his take on on, on not tipping waitresses i don't tip because society says i have to all right i mean i'll tip if somebody really deserves a tip if they really put forth the effort i'll give them something extra but i mean it's tipping automatically uh, it's for the birds this could just be me you guys y'all can of course always let me know down below your take on the movie again uh film is subjective and everybody kind of takes something different from it personally i didn't really get an attachment uh to any of the characters just because there really wasn't any kind of character development uh for them throughout the movie again we only got like those first like 10 15 minutes of them being in the diner but that really was just you know them just talking this movie is full dialogue don't get a lot of action in the movie I, we do get a lot of a couple of like shootings and uh some like dismemberment of body parts but we'll, we'll get to that later you never actually see the heist you know you know about it you hear the build up and then it's kind of like the diner we're gonna go do the heist and then bam we cut into when they're in the warehouse and then like everything just kind of went to shit i guess technically Tarantino did let us know early on or at least really hit to us because I feel like a real true criminal the professional I'm acting like a professional. They may not have gone that way, you know, especially since they would have been more into harm's way They would have handled it more. I mean, he was literally like just like screaming like a little bitch I mean, mind you, he's like, oh, he got shot by uh, Mr. Blonde <laughs> Which we'll get you to this member bit now. I mean, he is, I mean, obviously this whole, like, diamond heist gone wrong at the end was his fault. If they hadn't done what I told them not to do, they'd still be alive. But, of course, the main thing about this movie is when he goes and he chops off that cop's ear. And I was just like, oh, wow, like, that literally just happened. And, I mean, he's just, like, dancing and just, like, whatever, you know, and... This is just like the beginning of what's to come with Quentin Tarantino. I mean, we've seen what's to come now, right? But like at that point, we didn't know. Yeah, I love Quentin Tarantino. He's crazy as mine. The actress in me would love to be in a Quentin Tarantino movie. And I would love for him to like kill me in some like weird, like explosive, like, like I don't even care like how, but I would love to be in one of his movies and I would love for him to like kill me. And heard that that's particular scene is very hard for a lot of people to watch I, I mean I get it you know a lot of people are not into like gruesome like shit like that and I just don't mind it I think it's really cool like I think it just kind of gave something else to the scene but I really truly really love this movie you guys it's really really good I mean I wouldn't classify it as being like one of my favorite movies of all time and again it's not my favorite uh, Tarantino movie either I guess I mean he only has nine right so I think I would put it top five movies maybe I don't know you guys I really have to think about it at some point I'll do a Quentin Tarantino ranking for it to not really have a lot of action going along and it for really just to be like just dialogue i think it was done really good for it to again be his first movie that he wrote and direct i think um it actually did really well i think it still holds up and oh my god you guys i mean that final scene with the showdown i it was crazy i was just like did this really happen yes it did quinton you did that have you seen reservoir dogs did i say it right i feel like i said it right that time y'all seen rd let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think about it which is your favorite quentin tarantino movie or where would you rank this movie in all his 
movies that he's done let me know down below of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!